tell us a little about some of the things in the videos. What what is I mean it's your you just do it so well. So tell us something about the beard that people need to know. You know, I believe that they're they're nearly magic. You know, whenever I say magic, I mean they do things that that we we can't describe. And I think that you start to feel better. And I feel like you're it, it kind of trains you to act appropriately for for your age. And it, it really separates the men from uh, the from the boys. And when you're a young man, you are you know you don't have any facial hair. And there's a certain way you act, and you're able you're you're able to act out. And I feel like you're you're more rambunctious and things. And once you once you grow a beard in your face, it kind of calms you down and helps you to. I, I really feel it helps you wise up and, and become wiser. Well, how has the response been from uh, not necessarily people you know, but from the from the general public? Did they did it? How did they treat you any different? Yeah, I, I feel like they've treated treated me a lot better as far as strangers, people that I don't know. When they meet me, they they definitely. I feel like they definitely li have listened to what I have to say. And what about and people you know? <laughs> How's that response? People, for? yeah, people I know are, are do not like it um, because they are they are remembering when I was I was younger, and they want me to look the way I was when I was younger. And that actually brings me to another point. I think it's a way of separating from our mother's care. Because our mothers want us to look like we, we did when we were younger. And uh -huh. as we grow older, we kind of separate from the image that our mothers have us in. And it allows us to become real men, independent people that are different. We're, we're our own person now. And I think it helps that, that separation to be independent. And why do you think people today... Uh... For the most part, uh, beards are just not accepted in society the way they used to be years ago. Well, like I said, when I was in, 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 uh, in school, it was because people already have an idea of what we're all supposed to look like. And when someone sticks out, they're criticized and, and, and maybe made fun of or felt made to feel bad for, for having a beard. And I don't know. I, I think that the, those are social cues things that have happened over time for different leaders and, and icons that we all look at and try to mimic. What's the most positive comment you've ever received about your beard? Uh, I, I've had a, a, a girl just recently, a woman, she's you know, mid-20s, came to me and she said, I'm, just, I'm proud of you. She didn't know who I was. She's like, I'm so proud of you for growing your beard. Wonderful. And I, I took that as a, a big compliment and <laughs> I, I had to ask her more questions like, why, why did you say that? She's like, I... I just think it's awesome. I think that you, you it takes a lot of work to grow it grow it out nowadays. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now, what's your what's the most negative comment you've received? Probably from people I know saying that you 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 don't look good anymore. You you know, you're not attractive to me and and my response is usually, "Well, I'm not trying to attract you." So <laughs> So, do you have a family? Yeah, I have five kids. I'm married, and and I, I stay at home a lot, and and that's what allows me to make some videos and and kind of pursue some passions of mine. And so, what do your children and your wife think about the beard? Oh, they, you know, they, they had to get used to it as well because I decided, hey, listen, I'm going for a full year. I'm not going to cut it. And then after the one year, I I went for two and. Somewhere around the one and a half years, I talked about when I was going to cut it, and, and they all responded negatively as if they didn't want me to cut it. And I think that they're, once they're used to the way you are, they will miss, they will miss it if you take it away. Sure, sure. And uh, do you talk about on your videos anything to do with beards as it pertains to our Creator's Word in the Bible? Do you ever talk about that or no? I haven't gotten into that very much, um, I, I, except for the fact that I think that we have the freedom to do that personally, and I believe that God did make it for a reason, and there are benefits. I mean, all the all the laws that He has given in the Bible have their benefits, and He just I feel like God wants to protect us, and He's trying to give us hints on how we're supposed to act and what we're supposed to do, and. I think that we follow some and we, we don't follow others, but when we do follow him, there are usually benefits that we never thought of before. 
Well, I, I, I agree. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Now, uh, what about uh, this next question? Is very controversial. Is how do you feel uh, when you see other men shave? Do you feel they're doing something that's bad or wrong for their health? Um, yeah, I feel like they're avoiding some benefit. They're avo avoiding some things, and they're weaker. I, I really honestly feel they're weaker because of it. And I, I just recently told a friend that he would be more manly if he grew a beard. I know he has plenty of stubble, and he would, you know, he would look awesome, and he would. I know he would feel better. And he's clean shaven, and I and I told him I told him about that, and um. You know, they got a, they took offense to it. It's like, are you saying I'm not manly? I, are you not? Are you saying I'm not manly? And I'm like, no, I'm not saying you're not. You're man, not manly. <laughs> yeah, you are. Tell him that. Say no. Say. I said this. I said you would be more manly. I, there's no denying. Every woman knows he's a man, and he's a man, and he can do manly actions, and he can perform manly, and everybody can perceive him as manly. But if you want to take that one step notch up and be more manly, then you grow your beard out. So what about women? Do you think women should shave? I you know I I've been approached that before when people say, Mike, I want you to be clean shaven again, and then and then I say, well, no, I just think we're supposed to grow it out, and so just let me go. He's like, well, should I should I let my armpits go and my hair, uh, lake hair, and will you want your wife to do that? And I was like, it's up to her. You know, if she wants to do that, then, then great. If she doesn't, it's up to her. You know, I'm not going to make her do any of that. And I'm, I wouldn't, I would be, I would be actually pretty amused if I was, you know, say at the beach and I see women, you know, with their, with their legs, you know, hairy, I, I'd be pretty shocked. But, you know, I think I, I'm, I, I'm open-minded enough to, to just to say that, oh, well, I guess they're hairy for a reason, you know. Yeah, I, I, I was going to say something about intuition. Um, I, I started, I, here's a, there was a point, um, another key thing that helped me want to grow a beard is I read, the, I read an article online about how the, our beards could give us intuition and help us perceive feelings and, and it may be a part of, connected to our brains and we've got little nerves down here, I saw, I, I actually a doctor told me we have nerves down here connected to our hearing. And I just thought, well, what if we receive signals and, and things about that? And and so I felt that maybe I would be have more intuition with a beard. And and I, I, I based that off of the fact that women with long hair claim to be more they, they say I'm I feel more womanly with long hair. Sure. And and I, I my wife and I were going through some of the toughest times in our marriage whenever I was bald and she had the shortest she had a haircut nearly as short as mine. And she looked beautiful, but I, I said to her, I said, do you think that maybe we're arguing because our hair, we don't have hair on our heads? And she got so upset with me. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that I, I really from then started to, my wheel started to turn and say, well, if there's a bunch of benefits that I'm missing out. And really that's whenever I, I really began started, start to grow my beard 23 months ago. That was like the last and final thing is like, what if there are things that, like intuition and and what if it helps what if it's part of our brain function it's connected and all the electricity that that our body emits is is utilized in our beard and through vibrations and just a bunch of things that I can't because I'm not a scientist prove well but I, I still I, I agree with you and I believe uh, everything you're saying to be true and uh, it's just wonderful that not only you did it but you're making wonderful videos about it and I think uh, it'll help some men that just haven't been aware of that yet I just, just think it's uh, great now do you plan on uh, right now do you plan on just keep going yeah uh, my wife has said hey I don't ever want you to shave again and I that's a huge thing because really staying with my wife is number one to me I mean number one is God and, and number one or two is staying with my wife and and if that was a, a big factor which is not and I would I would shave it's that's why I cut my hair um, because she was just, I just found that she wasn't happy, and I don't know. I, I basically use it as a test to say, you'll, you know what? I'll, I'll shave my head, I'll cut my hair, and we'll see what kind of things I lack because of it. Sure, that's uh, just great, great, a great thing. Now, what about uh, your your beard? Do you trim it at all? I don't. I I haven't touched it um, early on, about three months. 
three months or three to four months, my wife, uh, there was hair sticking out this way and it was, it was uh, just kind of growing out, out here and she made me cut off just a touch of it so I trimmed that and I had one mustache hair that grew out to be this far and I cut that one. But as far as that, I haven't touched it and I, I'm kind of excited to watch it grow and do keep you, growing. Do you trim your mustache at all? No, I don't. It's all, it's all natural. Wonderful. As you know now, you're in a beard brotherhood where no matter where you are in the world, if you see a guy with a beard, they just wave at you or they say hello or they say nice beard yeah. or something like that. It's just, a, oh, it's just, it's just a great thing. It's, and that's the way it should be. So it's just wonderful. Yeah.